Hello everyone. As you can see, a little bit messy, a little bit messy. Oh, we're going to have to clean that up. Did not really expect that. Did not expect that at all. Don't worry, we'll, 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 we'll get it fixed. But anyways, as you can see, freshly shaven. Um, no, I've, I've got to get rid of that. That's horrible. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on a sec. There you go. Much better, as you can see. It was freaking horrible um, in the previous clip. So obviously I had to eradicate it because I want people to think I'm actually an all right looking lad. Do you know what I mean? Otherwise I'd just be catfishing. Well, I kind of already am catfishing people because I probably, anyways, whatever. I don't even know what the hell I'm saying. I think it's because there's a lot of nerves going on because obviously, actually I'm not really that nervous. I just, you know, I get nervous when I talk in front of a camera sometimes <laughs> clearly clearly not um i'm just saying it to seem you know to have a bit of an empathetic uh connection with you lot but so i'm getting my operation tomorrow as you can see i tanked hard hard on the diet the other day tried to do a nice motivation i started off real good oh i can't wait i'm working out i'm doing great yeah and then brownies coming through the door and then freaking all hell breaks loose so <laughs> But I mean, look, I'm human, that stuff happens. I just finished the fight. I was thinking to get back on it and then brownies are sitting there. You know, I mean, you know, one of your friends hooks you up. It's like, it had to be done. I, I couldn't I couldn't stick to the diet anymore. Um, but anyways, so physique wise, it's not all that great. I mean, it's probably not any worse than what you saw it on that last clip, even though, you know, obviously I've been smashing down a lot of pick and mix and crap for the last couple of days. So literally the last couple of days has just been a continuation of horrendous behavior, but I have been training. Um, so yeah, yesterday ordered a load of takeaways and, and, and stuff like, like an idiot, of course, but still face not looking too bad. So <laughs> clearly I've moved on from the days where I was a chubby kid coming back from America. Um, so yeah, that's all good. So yeah, my operation is tomorrow um, and I'm feeling good. I'll take you through obviously the whole journey, but um, you know, today I've been on point with the diet, today I train, so you know, at least for one day I can lose some, if not, if any, fat till tomorrow. So I can impress all the surgeons with how in shape I am, which is clearly a massive goal of mine. Don't know why, but just for my own self preservation, right? So I can keep, you know doing topless pics on Instagram <laughs> but yeah uh, I'm feeling good I'm actually feeling very excited I know I won't be able to sleep tonight because I just can't wait to get it all sorted getting the nose somewhat sorted not all the way sorted but like as in it might move it a little bit and then obviously clear the airways because it's a bit harder for me to breathe and obviously the main thing is my knee so I've got the best surgeons in the UK um, UFC absolutely amazing helping me out and sorting me out of everything so yeah, this is the journey of uh, of the operation really. So yeah, um, nothing more to report. I'm drinking coffee at a horrendous hour, so I'm living life on the edge. I think it's about five o'clock right now, six o'clock. Um, no, nah, it's about five o'clock, why am I lying? Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna chill, watch some vids, perhaps tidy my room, otherwise I'm just an insignificant being who doesn't like cleaning his room. So obviously I need to do that. But yeah, take you through the journey, peeps. Thank you, thank you. That facial is looking way more naughty. Yes. Yes, yes, currently at the train station, getting ready to go for the operation. Bloody hell, I'm pale as fuck. People are probably looking at me all weird. <laughs> like, why is this guy on his camera? Um, but yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to get back to recovery. Nothing too much interesting going on here, obviously, other than uh, just getting on a train and going into London. So, I'll show you when I get to the hospital. But beautiful, beautiful scenes out where I live. Discreet location, obviously, obviously. Right, I'm in front of Harley Street Hospital, about to uh, go and get this procedure done. And as you can see, I'm, well, you can see somewhat I'm fully kitted out with UFC Venom gear so I look like a proper fanboy but obviously man's actually an athlete in the UFC so uh, yeah but no one's gonna know anyways unless they recognize my face which I don't know if everyone will but uh, yeah so off we go time to get it on time to get it on
Right, so the dust has settled somewhat after the operation. As you can see, I'm going to have a new nose. Yeah, no, not really. It's still going to be wonky. <laughs> but my septum is going to be clear and it's going to be absolutely okay. So do you know what? Let me just start with the nose. So obviously they cleared the airwaves. I had these two massive fuck off pieces of foam crap things. I don't even know what they are. I'm going to put a picture of a little video thing up right now. I'm going to keep replaying it because it's horrible. I had two of these massive things stuck all the way up inside my nose. Literally 48 hours was too much. I was tearing up. Like I couldn't breathe. Still can't really breathe too much now. But that's obviously part of the healing process. And it was absolutely freaking horrendous. I don't wish that on anyone. Not even my worst enemy. Or actually maybe on my worst enemy. Because they deserve it. Anyways, no. But like honestly, it's so bad. <laughs> it is so bad. Uh, but when I finally took it out and like you just hear that squelch and all the blood go, yeah, like just spitting out of you and yeah, it was lovely. So that was that. Uh, but the main thing is, well, as you can see, is obviously my leg. Um, well, it's in a what's called a game ready. Shout out to the UFC. Shout out to my management, Iridium Sports Agency, for providing me with the goods. Just compresses and ices my leg. Uh, I'll show you more of what my leg actually looks like, but it is massive and swollen to fuck. Uh, looks like a pumpkin on my leg. So it's uh, not great, to be honest with you. The pain has been excruciating. Um, like, I know I seem like in a pretty decent mood now, but I'm... Um, probably high on codeine that's probably why i'm actually okay um and yeah uh, well I, I don't know if being high on codeine is even the word but i'm taking loads of strong painkillers um i tried to tough out but, oh i don't need painkillers and the next thing you know i had to take it the main reason why i didn't want to take it is because it said it makes you constipated and i don't want to get constipated especially if you know i've been slamming down brownies and cakes all day well i haven't but you know you know i'm I've actually not been that hungry which is actually good because I'll be fat as hell if I, you know, if I actually was like that crazy hungry. I've been trying not to eat. I don't know, because my energy expenditure has been low, I've not really been wanting to eat as much. But then when it gets to the evening, oh, that's when the cravings start. But yeah, so the pain's been like, you know, so I had the operation on Thursday. It is now Monday and the, the pain is still quite badly there. Obviously, the swelling's still quite high. Um, I've just got to wait for all of that to settle, for it to slowly start you know um sinking in with the recovery and the healing process but i understand it's a process you know uh, i understand this is what i have to go through you have to go through the dark times to get onto the to, to the brighter times or you know get onto greener pastures as they say um so yeah it's been horrible uh been some sleepless nights uh I was happy that at least I could get one of the problems sorted. When I took those things out of my nose, I was like, okay, well, at least I don't have to worry about that anymore because double the trouble, like, it, it was it was bad. So now it's all, all I have to worry about is the leg. But on the bright side, I've been catching up on a bit of Game of Thrones. Yeah, Game of Thrones. We love a bit of Game of Thrones. I haven't seen it, but now I'm catching up. So, whoo, I'm jumping on that train. It is really good. Uh, but yeah, just letting you all know that I'm, that I'm okay. Uh, it was a very painful operation. It was a two and a half hour operation. Um, and, you know, they did quite a lot of stuff into my leg. But, you know, the recovery process started. They're saying about four to five months and I'll be back in there. So, you know, there'll be a lot of time to reflect. A lot of time to just, you know, think about what I need to do to step forward. Uh, to, go, to move forward and everything. Uh, but I'm very excited for it all. Um, I've been in a very good positive mindset because I just want to go out there and prove everyone wrong and, you know, go and make my dreams come true. It's better to come back from such a, you know, it's better stories to tell when you come back from a really bad setback than when everything just goes great for you. So I'm going to come back from this setback and we're going to be all good. But I'll just keep document you, documenting you lot as time goes on. Nice one, peeps. So here we are, people. Cripple Diaries Part Two. <laughs> Do you know what? That's actually a pretty good name. I might, I might have to use that. That's a pretty good one. Just basically me just sitting here in bed chatting shit. <laughs> Don't know why the hell I'm so happy. But anyways, I just thought I'd show you a bit of the road to recovery. So uh, I don't know if I have shown this, but we've got a game ready machine provided by the wonderful 
UFC. So obviously I'm using that, just compression and ice, looking absolutely naughty. Um, not really, but basically it's just, you know, it's just helping to keep the swelling down because it has been absolutely freaking painful. And I think the pain is just mainly coming from the amount of swelling. So like everything, like especially, it's only hurting when I stand up. So when I stand up, I think everything just trying to rush down to the bottom and trying to, you know, get into my calf and just like, yeah, it's just a massive ball of crap. And it's, uh, yeah, very painful. Loads of stitches still. But hey, listen, it'll get better. I think gradually day by day we are getting that but the main thing that you'll notice is omg medicis's nose is still wonky but a little bit straighter <laughs> mate these pain meds wonderful 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 drug they are uh, uh what is it codeine <laughs> um i'm like this normally though but um yeah so as you can see it's like you know like, it's, it's been a bit of an improvement. I've got to thank these doctors, you know what I mean? Making me a little bit pretty. Modern career is getting revamped. I keep talking about this modern career, but it's absolutely nowhere to be found. So, uh, modeling people hit me the fuck up. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, if you want something a little bit quirky, a little bit different, outside the box type stuff, you know what I mean? Um, I'm not in such bad shape, but obviously I've just been eating kind of what I want and it's probably going to accumulate over the next couple of days but um yeah my airways are still like you know they're, they're just sort of slowly coming out i know it's obviously going to take a little bit of time before they fully clear up they said up to six weeks but i've noticed it's a massive freaking difference already and even in just the appearance so uh we're just going to learn to slip punches a little bit better so we don't get our nose cracked and broken and pushed to the wrong side do you know what i mean so uh do you know what i mean um so yeah, that will be one massive bit of focus for me when I return. But obviously, this is a very long journey. This has only been a week and I'm going freaking crazy. So um, just under a week. So tomorrow will be Thursday, um, which, would be, which would be one week exactly from the operation. So just got to keep plugging away at it, taking it day by day, bringing you lot content, and then uh, obviously get back to the business. But uh, yeah. Just thought I'd just check in, let you lot know. Till the next one, peeps.